Hi there, my name is Jackson Hayes, and I thought in this little video I would do a quick rundown of how I manage my YouTube channel within Notion. Notion is a very powerful app that if you don't know about it, you probably should because it is so just enabling. It, it allows you to manage and track and keep, stay on top of so many different things all at once. And so I use it for YouTube management as well as homework, as well as just like general life stuff, um, all sorts of things. It's super useful. So definitely check it out if you haven't already. But this is how I manage my YouTube channel within Notion. So this is all based off of a template that I built within Notion called the Photon Dashboard, which is just basically a way to manage YouTube. Uh, it's just a template that you can go ahead and duplicate. So jumping into it, after we've duplicated it, we can go ahead and rename it. We're just gonna call this the YouTube Dashboard because that's just easier to kind of manage. Um, and then we've got this little start here, kind of read me thing that you can go ahead and read through, which is very fun. We're not gonna do that here because I'm gonna explain it all. Um, we've got sponsors, resources, and then this videos kind of section. And this is the main part that you're gonna be using from a day-to-day -day basis managing your YouTube channel. We've got an example video right here. This is just kind of a, just a way to kind of see how to use it. Um, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and switch this to in progress because we're gonna pretend this video is in progress. The sponsor is related to another database that manages all your sponsors, which we'll get into in a second. I've got a publication start as well as the, or production start as well as the target publication date. Got a space for notes, outlines, sponsorship information, etc., as well as a, a way to create a shot list, which we'll get into in a second. Now, uh, within the sponsors thing, we can go to see that sponsor specifically. And this is a separate database. It's a relational database that is connected to the videos database so that you can keep track of what sponsor is sponsoring what videos um, or what videos are sponsored by what sponsor kind of that inverse relationship there as well as you can keep track of things like contact information for the representatives that you have at that company or their you know their process for approving videos if they require something like that you can keep legal documents here whatever you want this is just a kind of a singular place to keep everything now, uh, we also got this resources page, which is a way to keep track of things like files where, um, you know, you can have all your resources such as graphics, you know, channel icons, channel headers, brand logos, things like that. You can also have documentation if you work with like teams uh, or you have an editor or whatever, you can have editing guidelines like this is how I want certain portions of the video to be edited or you want specific like sound effects this is like where to get them how to do that as well as audio processing of like how i want my voice processed um you can have export settings you know compression levels resolution all that kind of stuff um, as well as just this miscellaneous tab which you can do whatever you want with so that's just kind of like a quick overview we're going to now jump into kind of like what the process is for creating a new video all that stuff so Within videos here, we can go to this new, and we're not gonna click the new button, we're gonna click this down arrow and hit YouTube video, because this is a kind of a template inside the template that go ahead, that automatically will go ahead for you and create just kind of everything that you need. So we're gonna pretend this is a Mac mini M1 review. We're gonna set the status to be in progress because we're gonna work on it right now, hypothetically. Um, we've got the thumbnail section where you can actually upload an image. So if you're working with a team and you have one person doing the thumbnail and the other person is going to upload it, you can just have that resource here as well. It's, just, it's useful to have the original file when you go back to, you know, reference an old video or whatever. So I can go there. I don't really do thumbnails first. I should probably do that because they're very important, but I don't. Anyway, we know the sponsor. We're going to just pretend it's this square, square mix sponsor space, which um, is a little... Oh, a little inside joke there. Uh, we've got production start. We're going to pretend that we're going to start this on the 30th. We're going to add an end date here. We're going to end that on the 4th. Target publication. We're going to just say this goes up on the 7th, you know, whatever, Monday. I don't know if that's good for you too. I haven't done a lot of that, like, investigation of what days are perfect. And I think it depends on a channel and all that. Um, we can add an outline here. We can add scripts. If you have like a solid script that you want to write, you could even write it here. You could write it in Google Docs and then import it, whatever. Um, but this is kind of where I'd keep that. Now, what I typically do, my general process is to outline the video, shoot the A-roll, edit it, and then go through and basically write down what shots that I need. And so after, let's pretend that I've already shot the A-roll and um, now I'm ready to add that shot list. So if we just click this create shot list button, it automatically creates a brand new page that is a shot list for the video. It's completely independent of any other video. This is just a shot list for this specific video. So, you know, we could say, let's see, close up of Mac mini. We could say this is um, panning shot of Mac mini ports. And then this 
is going to be, I don't know, um, over the shoulder of um, Mac Mini usage. All right, so those are our three different shots. We can set the location, so you can be interior, exterior, all that. You don't really need that here. Um, and what's useful is that since this is just a little button that automatically creates all of this, you can actually go ahead and like delete various columns if you would like. Um, you can set the day of when you want these various things to be shot. You can add a portion of the script, which can be very helpful when you're shooting something. You're like, why am I shooting this shot? It can be useful to reference like the portion in the video or what's said underneath that clip so that you can kind of like better tailor the shot for the exact portion of the video. You can add timestamps of when that shot is going to go where, so that can be useful for editing later. Then you can also just mark done. Um, and that's different from the shot check checklist checkbox because that allows you to have a distinction between what is shot and what has been edited into the video and it's completely done, you can move on. So I find that to be extremely useful. Uh, we can sort by production, post-production, post-production, kind of just resorts these things of like when the shots go where, and then pre-production is just like just general, and this is probably easier to use just to kind of write down quick shots and stuff. Um, but yeah, so that's how I would manage um, a shot list and see it's right here in this links uh, section there. I'm going to go back to the YouTube, dash YouTube dashboard. Um, we've got a content calendar so we can keep track of what videos are going where. And I think this is not filtering quite right. There we go. There's our Mac Mini M1. That's on the 7th. And of course, if you wanted to, you could also do calendar by and do uh, production start because then you see like when that video is being made and all of that. Um, but yeah, that's kind of like my general process for managing YouTube. It's just a very kind of streamlined way to keep track of various bits of information as well as, you know, keep track of uh, sponsor stuff and shot lists and all of that and have it all in kind of one place. So I hope that's been helpful. I hope um, this kind of gives you some ideas. Feel free to check out the dashboard in the link in the description. But um, that's about it for this video. And so if you enjoyed it, definitely hit a thumbs up, subscribe if you want, and I'll see you all later.